Hey Curious! Today we are going to find out a little more about who and where the cast of The Last of Us series came from to give life to the characters of one of the most incredible games released in recent years. So, without further ado, grab the popcorn, make sure it's free of fungus, and let's go! Yeah. You don't bring up Tess. Ever. Matter of fact, we just keep our histories to ourselves. Secondly, don't tell anybody about your condition. They think you're crazy, they'll try to kill Smuggler Joel Miller is played by Pedro Pascal, 47 years old, one of my favorite actors today. Pascal has already been through several popular series and films like Triple Frontier, in the role of Francisco Catfish Morales alongside famous names like Ben Affleck. He was also part of the cast of Narcos in the role of Agent Javier Pena, and was in Kingsman, The Golden Circle. But his big breakout roles were probably in Game of Thrones as the legendary Oberyn Martell, who is also one of the most remembered characters by audiences to date, and currently taking care of Baby Yoda in The Mandalorian, one of the best shows in the Star Wars universe. Oh, and it's worth saying that with that he is currently one of the great symbols of the single father in the world of series and films, always taking care of a child in his roles. Whoa! How, how the hell would he even walk around with that thing? Get rid of that. Now, hold Just... your horses. I want to see what all the fuss is about. Oh, why are these all stuck together? Uh. Bella Ramsey plays Ellie in The Last of Us, the cargo that Joel must protect in this post-apocalyptic world of the series. Ramsey became known for her landmark role as Lyanna Mormont in Game of Thrones, a role that became unforgettable for many viewers even today. She also voiced the blue-haired character Hilda in the Netflix animation series of the same name, which became a hit with children's audiences. Ramsey also appeared in His Dark Materials as Angelica and in The Worst Witch as Mildred Hubble, in addition to her most recent role in 2022 as Bertie in the movie Catherine called Bertie. Ramsey's casting as Ellie in The Last of Us sparked much controversy among fans of the game. But what about you? Did you like her as Ellie on the show? He's my goddamn brother. Tommy. Holy shit. <laughs> How you doing, baby brother? God damn. Yeah. Let me look at you. Gabriel Luna is an American actor with a diverse and distinguished career in Hollywood. In the show he gives life to Tommy, Joel's younger brother. In addition, Gabriel Luna also had other notable roles such as Tony Bravo in Matador, a series about football and espionage. He also played Miguel Gilb in the famous series True Detective, where he acted alongside Mahershala Ali, the future new blade of the Marvel Cinematographic Universe. He gave life to Robbie Reyes, the popular ghostwriter, in the series Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And he was also the Rev-9 in Terminator, Dark Fate, the newest film in the Terminator franchise. Besides that, his role as Mr. Lawrence in Hala, a film about an American Muslim teenager, was also critically acclaimed. I'm gonna get that gun from you, okay? Oh, okay, okay, easy. Is this your fault? This is nobody's fault, Henry. It's all your fault! Henry! Henry, no! Lamar Johnson is a Canadian actor who portrays Henry in the series. Johnson gained recognition for his portrayal of West on the television series The Next Step, a Canadian dance show that garnered a large audience. Another highlight in Lamar Johnson's career was his role as Seven Carter in the movie The Hate You Give. The film portrays racial tensions in the United States and the role of the police in marginalized communities. In King's Johnson played Jesse Cooper, a young man who faces challenges in everyday life due to his financial situation. In the miniseries Your Honor, Lamar had the opportunity to play Kofi Jones, a young man who was involved in a fatal car accident. Finally, in Brother, Johnson plays Michael, a young man trying to leave his criminal past behind. What if the people are still inside? What if they're trapped in there without any control of their body? I'm scared of that happening to me. Before playing Sam in The Last of Us, nine-year-old Keevan Woodard made only a small appearance as a deaf student in a film called Seeds of Hope, the Andrew Jackson Foster story, and starred in a sci-fi short called Fractal, which will be released in 2023. 
However, in The Last of Us, Kevin shines as Sam, bringing his own personal experience as a hearing-impaired person to the role. After his great work on the series, we hope that this was just the first of many other great roles that we will see the actor bring to life. I don't give a damn about ration cards. I need something smuggled out of the city. You do that, I'll give you your guns back, and then some. Merle Dandridge plays Marlene, the leader of the Fireflies, a role that she had already played in the game itself. In addition, Merle has also appeared in several television series, including the role of Rita Roosevelt in my favorite series Sons of Anarchy and as Gwen Gaskin in The Night Shift, a medical drama that follows the routine of the staff of an American medical center. She also played Grace Greenleaf in the series Greenleaf, a family drama that addresses themes such as faith, family, and power. In 2020, Merle made a special appearance as Kim Hammond in the series The Flight Attendant, alongside the actress Kaylee Cuoco, the eternal penny from the series The Big Bang Theory. And in 2022, she joined the cast of Station 19, a spin-off of the mega-popular series Grey's Anatomy. We'll talk about it in the morning. All right, good night. Hey. Scoot. Fun day at work, huh? He's still doing up, it's late. Young actress Nico Parker plays Sarah, Joel's daughter in the series. In addition to The Last of Us, Nico has worked in series and films such as Dumbo, the classic Disney film, where Nico plays Millie Farrier, daughter of Colin Farrell's character. In The Third Day, an HBO miniseries, Nico Parker played the role of Ellie, a mysterious young woman who becomes an important cog in a plot full of mysteries. Nico also played Zoe in the sci-fi thriller Reminiscence, which is set in the near future where people can relive their past memories. Uh, thanks for the heroics and all. Uh, Ellie. Hey, what are you... Joel? Bill! What are you doing? Bill! Turn around and get on your knees. American actor and comedian Nick Offerman played Survivor Bill, one of the most controversial characters in the series version. Prior to The Last of Us, Offerman rose to prominence for his role as Ron Swanson in Parks and Recreation, a hit comedy that ran from 2009 to 2015. He also played Don Fitzgerald in We're the Millers from 2013, a family man who gets involved in an adventure with a gang of drug dealers. In The Founder he played Dick McDonald, one of the brothers who founded McDonald's. More recently, Offerman was cast as Uncle Milty in Pam and Tommy, a miniseries about the Pam Anderson and Tommy Lee sex tape. In addition, he also lent his voice to Beef Tobin in the animated series The Great North, a comedy about an Alaskan family. Frank. Who the hell's Frank? He was my partner. He's the only idiot that would wear a shirt like that. Murray Bartlett played Frank, Bill's partner in The Last of Us. In 2014, he played Dom Basiluzzo in the series Looking, which follows the lives of a group of gay friends in San Francisco. Murray also played the character Mouse in the series Tales of the City, which is based on a series of books by Armistead Maupin. The actor also gave life to the character Armand in the acclaimed series The White Lotus, which takes place in a luxury resort in Hawaii. He starred in the series Physical, playing Vinnie Green, in a story that takes place in the 1980s and follows the life of a woman who discovers the world of aerobic fitness. He is also part of the cast of Welcome to Chippendales as Nick DeNoya, a television producer who helped create a famous group of male dancers. You want us to just leave you here? Yes. There is no way that- I will not turn into one of those things. Come on. Easy for me. Tess, a survivor and Joel's partner, in the series is played by Anna Torv. Before the series Torv was best known for playing two characters on Fringe, Olivia Dunham, an FBI agent who investigates unexplained events, and William Bell, a brilliant scientist and founder of technology company Massive Dynamic. Torv also lent her voice to the main character Noriko in the video game Heavenly Sword released in 2007. In addition, she played Harriet Dunkley, an investigative journalist who uncovers a conspiracy in the Australian series Secret City. 
More recently, she played the role of Dr. Wendy Carr in Mindhunter, a Netflix crime drama that explores the psychology of serial killers. Furthermore, she portrayed Helen Norville in the Australian miniseries The Newsreader. Before we go, remember to hit the subscribe button and share this video with your fellow survivors. Oh, and if you haven't played the game yet, be sure to check it out before the fungus takes over the world. See you in the next video. Over and out.